Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for July 10, 2023, the Meta, Threads, and Antitrust Edition. And we begin with that story from the New York Times Deal Book as the new Meta product, Threads, poses a conundrum for regulators. Uh, the rivalry between Zuckerberg and Elon Musk, of course, went into overdrive with Meta rolling out Threads as a direct competitor to Twitter, but the question now becomes, in the era of tighter regulatory scrutiny of big tech, does Meta's effort extend to extend its reach in social media raise questions about the industry's ability to expand to new areas and crush foes, even if that foe is large? There are two uh, disparate threads of antitrust law uh, at work here. One is size, but the second is uh, crushing uh, competitors uh, with their already existing portfolio. Next up, uh, in a recent uh, in investigations of a sheriff's department of a, in a, a county in Texas where a recent mass shooting occurred, uh, have uncovered a troubling series of uh, areas of potential corruption and that uh, allegations that the sheriff and his former and deputies um, long neglected basic police work while basically pursuing asset seizures that boosted uh, the budget. So um, uh, a very troubling mass shooting, but coupled with uh, very poor policing or at least allegations of very poor policing um, in that county. From the Financial Times, uh, the Chinese Communist Party's anti-corruption campaign apparently is now looking at itself as at least 20 officials from China's anti-corruption units, the Central Commission for Discipline and Inspection and National Supervisory Commission, have come under investigation. The tally of cases in the past six months is more than the annual total since 2014. The um, interesting that those who are involved in the anti-corruption efforts would now be under investigation themselves. And our final story comes to us from the UK uh, with The Guardian, as the Labor Party has indicated that it will back a global anti-corruption court and reinstate a requirement to follow international law, its shadow secretary said. David Lammy says the measures will restore the country's reputation for keeping its word uh, as in an attempt to undo the unmitigated damage from the Boris Johnson years. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.